Hi, I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Now, there are eight different trim levels. We're currently looking at the pre-runner. We've driven the Limited. We've driven six of them. The other two, which is the TRD Pro and the Trail Hunter, those are going to be available later. We'll show them to you. So you want to stay around, we'll show you all the different trim levels, what makes each trim level special, because there's a lot of different variants. There's different cab size. The first vehicle we're showing you is the pre-runner. It is exclusively an extra cab. There's a lot of exclusive features to each trim level. So before you make your decision, you got to make sure to do your homework. Here's some of the details you've been waiting for. Toyota sold more than 5 million Tacomas since the 60s. And the 2024 is more powerful, more capable, and more efficient different styles, different engines, and all different personalities for different usages, because we're all going to do something different with this vehicle. And every Tacoma is rugged in nature, looks premium in materials, upgraded suspension, headlights, taillights, tires, and wheels. And the new Tacoma is more capable and is based off of a Baja design, so it offers bigger tires and a higher lift. There's an all new frame that's no longer a C-channel, it's an actual boxed frame and that includes new rear and front suspension, which improves the ride. The one thing about the Tacoma, it's not just a tire and wheel and decal package. It really truly is a vehicle that's extremely capable. LED headlights, different grills, depending upon which trim level you buy. Safety features are standard across the lineup, so you're gonna get that 3.0 Safety Sense system. When it comes to wheels, there are a lot of choices. It's 17 or 18 inch, or you can get the larger ones on the Trail Hunter, and of course that 33 inch tire, if you're serious about off roading. Chassis has suspension upgrades, and one of the neat features is the new front stabilizer bar disconnect, and you'll use that for off road modes, and that disconnect mechanism comes standard on Trail Hunter, TRD Pro, and optional on TRD Off-Road. Now you're also getting the Trailer Tow Assist Trailer Backup Guide and all that we will need if you're hauling something. And you'll also note that there are three fins on the top of some of the vehicles, and that means you're getting that trailer package for the wireless trailer camera. And that's something that you're certainly going to want to think about. Pre-runner comes rear-wheel drive with a lockable rear differential. It's got one-inch lift and it has skid plates on it as well. Rides on 17-inch alloy wheels with BF Goodrich tires. Again, each trim is going to be completely different and you've got this extended cab. So in back, you've got that pegboard setup, which is really nice if you want to customize the back, whether you're hanging something for hunting or something for fishing or just stuff back there you'll find that that is really convenient. And of course, there's a lockable bed. And there's some other neat features that go with certain trim levels, like the flat folding front seat on the passenger side. So you can use it as a work surface, have lunch, or just do whatever you need to do. This is the seats inside the Limited. Really nice, soft touch materials, a mixture of for heated and ventilated. Because remember, the Limited is your loaded level lumbar support as well really nicely designed. I like these new seats. Remember that if you're going with the TRD Pro, you got those cool special seats, which that vehicle will be coming out soon. But in the meantime, this is the front seats. Going into the second row, you've got these nice seats and they're not flat. They actually have some movement to them so that you can not slide around in the vehicle. I'm in the second row on 5.8. There's pretty good space between the seat and me. This seat's all the way back, so that's not a fair assessment, but there is cup holders, there's USB-C charging. There's also additional outlets in case you gotta plug in something. Really well thought out. I really like that. And don't forget there is that movable rear piece of glass that is in the limited edition. This is your loaded luxury version. I like it. I think they did a nice job. Huge improvements. This is the ISO dynamic seat. So this is a seat that has suspension built into it. There are pressure gauges. We had the full description from Sheldon in our other video, but this is it not in red, but in the gray seating and really designed for off-road. There are four shock absorbers in the seat. There's an inch of travel. It has lumbar. It's heated. These are really cool seats. I think these could be a desk chair. They're so awesome. The Baja inspired TRD Pro has a segment first isodynamic performance seat that has enhanced off-road driving control and comfort. So there are shock absorbers that actually absorb some of the movement so it's not so difficult on your back. There are two shock absorbers and they're adjustable and they're also air compression inside. We had a deeper dive on the description of that from our other video with Sheldon. You wanna check that out as well. 
The seats inside the TRD Sport are pretty nice. They're a soft material, easy to clean. Again, this is an off-roader's car, so it's a little bit different. Second row, again, same material and the same supportive second row seating. When it comes to technology and features, standard is a seven inch gauge cluster with an eight inch multimedia display, or you can get the available 14 inch touch screen on the upper trim levels, JBL audio with removable Bluetooth, JBL flex portable speaker, allows you to take that center subwoofer speaker and take it to the back, maybe for tailgating, or you wanna work on the car, you can listen to everything. In addition to that, you've got head up display, the 2400 watt AC inverter, and the Trail Hunter, which we're gonna see coming up in the future, will have integrated high output air compressor in the bed, 12 volt DC charger and USB-C charge ports, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across the lineup, as well as the new Drive Connect system. Wireless charging is available, six charge outlets, and it's pre-wired for auxiliary switches on the panel on the left side of the steering wheel. There are two engine options, the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine with 228 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque. This is the new motor with an eight-speed automatic transmission, or you can get the six-speed manual transmission. 270 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. Huge improvement over the previous generation. You'll also see that we're showcasing on this chassis that Toyota was generous enough to put together for us. It is all the TRD Pro suspension which is a massive improvement over the previous generation again i love that trd logo to remind you you're driving something that's designed for off-road and then there is one other engine option there is a standard iforce max which is a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder engine with 278 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque that's available with an eight speed automatic transmission but this is the iForce Max engine, turbocharged four-cylinder engine hybrid powertrain with 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque, paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission. And this is the engine we all know it has some serious pulling power. So we're gonna start inside the Limited. There are six different trim levels available to us today, and I have a drive partner with me. Hey. This is Kristen Shaw. Tell us where they can find information on you. You can find my information at Popular Science, Edmonds, and Road and Track most often. Yeah, you've done a lot of stuff. She's written for Drive Magazine, Drive, the Drive Outlet, so she's she knows her stuff, and you're an off-road racer. I am. I've competed in the Rebel Rally twice, and I'm very excited to take this off-road. Yeah, this is going to be, yeah, I'm going to ride with you for the off-road. Yeah. I'm going to learn a lot when you ride with, if you want to do a road course on a racetrack, you call me. You want to go off-road, you call Kristen. We'll so, share. Yeah, so we'll share our stuff. But anyway, uh, in the meet, her information will be down below in the description. So the Limited is the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. They're all different variants of it. you got the iForce Max, and that's going to be on different trim levels. Uh, but we'll talk about all that in a second. I want to first go over the first drive impressions. Like driving this car, what's the first thing you see is you can feel right away this is a completely different chassis. Uh, I really like how stiff it is. It's not too stiff. I think it's a softer ride, and it's also quieter because this is the limited. It's very quiet. Yeah, and so this is the fully loaded. This is the one I would want because okay. it, it, it's got the big screen. It's got heated seats, front and rear. I mean, there's just really nice everything you need from the off-road modes if you want to do that to everything driving every day, including wireless charging and cup holders and all the things that real off-roaders don't use. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're smart, they do. Wow, that's true. That is true. But this is really easy to drive. And they say there's a new system that's on here. It's called PDA. And no, it's not public display of affection. It's the Pro Driving Assist. And we have that on right now. And it's has to do with like a lane change departure so it's basically a lane centering system and that's new for the Tacoma and it's going to be available across the lineup as well as all standard safety features which I think is a massive plus Toyota's done that across their lineup because you should not have to pay for these safety features these should all be added I you know that's one thing of all the things you can buy safety is the one thing you can't add later I agree fully and yeah. Toyota's been very good about that. They have, and there's a lot of competition in that area. I know a lot of the Japanese brands have been really pushing all their safety features, and I think that's great because the German brands, which it doesn't really have a competitor here, you end up having to buy every single item, and that includes a lot of the domestics. Oh, you want this package? Well, there's that, plus, oh, you want the self-driving? Oh, you, you know, it just keeps adding up. Oh, well, we're going to go through a little tunnel here. <laughs> Yeah, we're out in California, out in the mountains. We started in Thousand Oaks and we're heading way out to this ranch. 
but I wanted to give you a first impression of the Limited. We'll drive each of the trim levels. We'll tell you what each one offers. We have a lot more details than we did before. If you want to hear from Sheldon, who's one of the interior, uh, internal engineers, we did that in the past, and that'll also be on our channel. You can check that out up here as well. That's a real deep, deep dive, because when you let one of the internals just tell me everything, they're so passionate. It's yeah, he's an enthusiast for sure. Oh, yeah, you can tell. He's... He definitely owns a bunch of Tacomas, you can tell. That's because of him that there is a manual option, and that's exciting. And I'm glad that they left that in. And in this case, we have the automatic, but we'll be driving the manual as well. So it's an eight-speed automatic or a six-speed manual. And I love this gigantic big screen, which was needed. And Toyota's thankfully got away from all that end tune silliness when they tried to do their own system. Now they got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Thinking about purchasing a Tacoma, please do your homework. There's a ton of information on the factory website and there's over a hundred accessories you can buy as well. So there's quite a bit. You certainly don't want to miss, you know, something that you want to add later. You may not be able to do that. The higher trim levels have a power tailgate. In this case, this is a pre-runner. So this has a protected bed cover which you can get as part of one of the many accessories that they have available. Fact is that this comes with a long bed. You get a five foot or a six foot bed depending upon which trim level. Again you go manual automatic transmission, different engine choices. So there's a lot in order for you to make this vehicle what you want. Tacoma is embossed across the back of the truck. Toyota logo here. You've got your trailer brake connections here tie downs there and then you've got the jacking posts and that's so when you're jacking it up to change a flat tire it'll tell you how far to go in so you don't go in not enough and then damage the vehicle's frame this is all designed right here you've got all your jacking posts here really well thought out now let's talk about the price for the tacoma it starts at thirty one thousand dollars and again as you add all your accessories and move your way up the price of course gets more expensive we'll get all the different grade pricing we'll put that down below in the description because it is a lot to digest and you want to make sure that you get what's right for you and of course those accessories as well which you can put into your lease or into your purchase again that's depends if you want to go aftermarket or you want to go with some of the cool features that they have available that come with the Tacoma a lot of competitors in this category you've got the Ford Ranger the Colorado you've got the uh, Frontier there's a lot of competitors coming into this marketplace because this mid-size truck category is super popular now I'm sure you've got additional questions because there is a lot and I can get a hold of Sheldon if you want to have a question that you can't get answered put it down in the comments below I'll be more than happy to get you an answer if you got value from this video make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one if you'd like to support our channel you can buy me a couple coffee the link for that is in the description as well as all the information on our website the podcast or social media and our other channel car smarts thanks so much for watching